Hello and welcome to this beautiful video. Today we are talking about playfulness. Playfulness has come into my field this week and it's an energy that I'm sitting with and I was guided by spirit to share this energy with you all. How can you ignite playfulness? Tapping into your inner child is how you do this. Look at things through the lens of a child, through curiosity, through excitement, through joy. You can ask your spirit to help you tap into these frequencies by simply taking a moment. Hey spirit, tap me into the frequency of da da da. So I've been playing with playfulness and when I tap into playfulness, it feels giddy and it feels sparkly and tingly and expansive, really, because when you are tapped into playfulness, the world is your playground. You tap into the limitless potential and the limitless possibilities that surround you because it's all a game. You are just playing with the energies and two, nothing sticks when you are in the playful energy because when you are playing, nothing is so serious or detrimental that it needs to stick. When you look at the lens, when you look through the lens of curiosity and playfulness, it's just like, oh, okay, that happened, on to the next. Oh, okay, I stubbed my toe, that's an interesting energy, what does this feel like? Oh, okay, on to the next, <laughs> like that is kind of what it feels like for me. So I wanted to kind of bring you guys into this and help you tap into your own playful energy. We're going to do a light language activation at the end for this. Um, but right now, I just want to tap into the Akashic Records and see what they have to say about playful energy and how you can tap into this on a daily basis. So let me go ahead and tune in real quick. Playful energy is about allowing everything that wants to show up to show up 100% in your life. Playing with the energies means that there is no resistance because you also are able to show up as 100% if you are in playful energy. It completely dissolves judgment. It completely dissolves pain when you are playing because everything simply just happens. They're showing like waves, like the waves and water spirits are constantly playing. I'm seeing how water just ebbs and flows and slashes and, and goes over rocks and with ease, it is just constantly flowing no matter what falls into it or what touches it, it's constantly able to continue just being at its 100% and flowing around because it's tapped into playful energy. Playful energy, is, they're showing me it's like a descent of it's a descendant of bliss if you were looking at the family tree like bliss and then there's like playful energy and playful energy taps you into this bliss because when you are playing you are tapping into excitement you're tapping into moments that welcome in imagination. You're tapping into moments that welcome in the highest frequencies. Because when you're playing, it takes away all power of the negativity because you're able to see all of it and you're able to experience all of it. There are showing a tower like building blocks with a child, you know, and a child's playing with the building blocks and the building tumbles. And it's like, you know, if that were to happen to an adult, it'd be like, well, damn it, you know, I spent so long working on this tower, blah, blah, blah. But the child sees it as an opportunity. 
sees it as an opportunity to look at things different and to rebuild it in a different way. They immediately go into taking action rather than sitting and holding on to the experience that just happened. You tap into playfulness by simply just constantly being in a questioning state. And not a questioning from an analytical standpoint, but a questioning from that curiosity standpoint. Okay, I have a decision to make. There's these three timelines that I see. Ponder them, daydream about them, wonder. Let your imagination run wild and play with these energies, play with what will happen, and then allow your intuition to respond based off of that playful energy. The playful energy is what can tap you into those limitless possibilities. And then with those limitless possibilities open, your intuition can anchor in to the highest one that came forward. It's your higher mind bringing through, it's an access, playful energy is an access point for your higher mind to come through and show you the timelines that are available for you. It's showing you your future selves because your higher mind can see that. Your higher mind and your guides can see that. And so when you are playful, you open up that door. You open up that realm of anything is available. Anything can be created. And when you can dream and sit and hold these dreams, allow these imaginations to come forward, then you start playing with the infinite quantum field and you open yourself up to this expansion that is possible for you. Playful energy doesn't have to be hard to tap into. Playful energy comes by you choosing to look at a situation differently. Are you going to look at something and see pain? Are you going to look at something and see, well, this is a roadblock. This isn't what I wanted. And so therefore I'm not on my highest path or I'm not able to get to Z because I have this road turn at F, you know? But playful energy allows you to see the bigger picture. It allows you to play with all the parts, all the moving parts, which keeps the energy open and fluid. So today, right now, we want you to close your eyes and sit and just breathe. Take a few deep breaths and ask your spirit to show you where your imagination lies. Ask spirit to show you where your imagination lies. For me, I'm seeing like a journal, seeing like writing, painting, drawing, doodling. This is where my imagination really anchors in and flows. For you, it may be singing or maybe reading, or you may have gotten a visual of a place where you can go within your time space reality 
that helps you to tap into your imagination, whether that's in a space in meditation within your own mind's eye or an actual tangible place. And so with this energy, we want you to move forward, take that action, and when you can, go to this place and then ask your spirit, spirit, help me tap into playfulness through using my imagination. And you don't have to be in the place of your imagination to do this. You can ask that at any time and spirit will bring it through for you. And so in this moment, while we're here, let's go ahead and bring in some light language for all viewers that watch this time and in this time and space reality. Please connect us to the highest light being that will tap us into our playfulness energy. All you have to do is breathe during this and allow the imagination that you have just tapped into to flow open, creating space for playfulness. You may laugh, you may yawn, you may get super giddy, <laughs> you may cough. Let the excitement, the playfulness energy come in. Deep breaths. Allow your guides to tap you into your expanded playfulness energy now. All spirit guides show the viewers that are watching this their playful energy now. You may want to move your body. You may feel a pulse of energy running through you. You may feel heat. You may get some pain sensations. These are energies moving. Allow them to be moved and look at it through the lens of playfulness. Look at it as the opportunity to move the energies and create space for light frequency. We're removing blocks now that are getting in the way of you tapping into your playfulness. We are removing all blocks and all spirits that get in the way of you tapping into your inner child playfulness. Shake it off, shake it off. Move your body, move your body. We are releasing releasing those energies and dance. No need to be afraid of this release that's happening for your body. Release through playfulness. You decide what and how, you decide how releases happen for you. A lot of release we think is sad it happens through tears it happens through grief it happens through anxiety but no you get to choose how your releases happen have a release with playfulness 
allow the playfulness energy to help you release through dancing, through movement, through shaking. Allow creativity and imagination to help you release. You can release and you can move through expansive spiritual awakenings in the energies and frequencies of bliss, of happiness, of love, of joy, of waking up and looking forward to every single thing that you do. You get to choose that. You get to choose that. Spiritual awakenings don't have to be scary. They do not have to be painful. They do not have to be traumatic. That is you that is choosing how to view the energies that are coming up that are ready to be released. So release them in playfulness. If you feel a release is coming on and it's bringing your frequency down, if you will, bring it back up. Bring it back up by tapping into playfulness. Watch the light language that just happened and bring yourself into a playful state or ask your spirit, hey, I would like to release what's coming up in the frequency of playfulness. I would like to release what's coming up in the frequency of joy and it will happen. It will happen. Trauma is such a heavy word and people talk about how moving through trauma is all this work and it's all this pain and, and it hurts and blah 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 and yet, like yeah sometimes it does. Sometimes it does but it doesn't have to be that way. Moving through past experiences when looking through the lens of playfulness is joyful. It brings a deeper understanding because you are able to look at that past experience through the lens of joy. And that takes away you being a victim. There are no victims here. We chose, you know, I, I believe, I know, <laughs> working on verbiage for myself, um, I know that we choose every single thing that we move through. As a spirit, we come in and we decide what we want to move through in life. And as we process, you know, the more traumatic things that have happened to us, if we are constantly viewing it through the lens of we were a victim, we were hurt, we have now have pain, we carry pain, that is what's going to happen and that narrative is just going to keep rolling and running. And every time you look at that experience with that lens, you are adding to that stack of pain and gunk that sits with it. But if you are able to look at a experience and change your perspective and look back and see the joy in the moment, see the gratitude in the moment, See where you were just playing, you were just figuring things out, you were just, you know, moving with the capacity at which you had at that time. That completely wipes away the weight that you have held over the experience. It completely wipes away the negative energies and their power that have attached to that experience in that time. So we invite you to look back at, at past experiences through the lens of playfulness and allow that playfulness to tap you into gratitude. Allow that playfulness to see the bigger picture. Spirit, go ahead and bring me through an example that will help the viewers of this video. Okay, I'm seeing I have a friend that we had a falling out, a bit of a falling out, and it hurt really bad for me for a long time. But I decided to not look back and see all of the places oops, that I went wrong, where I chose to be, you know, a negative person, all the things that made her feel the way that she did. I don't choose to look back at that and hold 
regret hold resentment towards myself and her i don't i don't choose that because that only adds to the negative energies that are present you know in that time space what i do is i look back with joy for that experience through the lens of playfulness i'm able to see how this beautiful experience shaped me and brought me the opportunity to be a better version of myself to show up as a better more communicative friend for future connections for future relationships and i look back and i think of all the incredible times that i had with this friend all the beauty that she holds, all the radiance that she was able to, that I was able to sit with, you know, all the codes that she brought through, all of the magical times that we had together. I view to see it like that. And when you start to view these past relationships or experiences, through the lens of playfulness, you can tap into the joy and remember the joy. And then the more you do that, you only remember joy. And it completely dissolves the timeline where pain and suffering was experienced. That's a pretty big idea for a lot of people, dissolving timelines. But spirit is <coughs> bringing this through because the more you choose to hold on to the negative emotions surrounding experiences that happened in the past, the more you are feeding that timeline to still exist in that way. Whereas if you are able to view these past experiences through the lens of joy, playfulness, and gratitude, you completely shift the energy of that timeline and dissolve the energies that are attached to you in the present that are holding, mm, not holding you back, but maybe causing resistance in the present. You completely dissolve those by tapping into the more positive aspects, the lighter aspects of that experience. This is how you create your reality. This is how you move quantumly, move through traumatic events is what they're saying using the quantum field in this way you don't even have to like relive it or do all this work if you have a memory pop up and you just hold joy while viewing that wow it's like a slideshow you know like a slideshow pops up and you have one of two options you can look at the pictures and get really sad and get really upset and continue feeding that anger or you can look at the pop, the pop show, <laughs> the slideshow, and you can view it in joy, hold the frequency of joy, hold the frequency of playfulness, hold the frequency of bliss. And that allows the slideshow to just keep going where anger pauses you on a slide for longer than the slide was even meant to show. It attaches you to that slide. Whereas the other just allows the slide to keep going, keep going, keep going, and then it ends. Eventually, it just ends. And then it's gone. Whoa. <laughs> and then it's gone, you know? And you don't have to carry that anymore because it doesn't exist. You have brought it to full completion. There's... um in the book the untethered soul i believe it's called a sanskara <laughs> a sins anyways they talk about it i believe it's a buddhist 
um, philosophy, question mark? I, I'm not, <laughs> I just channel things, you know? <laughs> I don't. Um, but yes, it's a, like a sanskara, and it's basically when you move through an experience, there is, when your heart is open to the experience, it goes full circle, and then like the circle goes off, you know? Um, but when there's a sanskara, or the theory of the sanskara is when an emotion happens and you close your heart and then like the circle only goes till here and it every time it comes up it wants to like complete the circle but holding on to that pain just adds to the sanskara and it's not able to complete so when we can have an open heart when viewing these experiences it allows that full circle to complete and go to rest so we kind of got off off track here. <laughs> Spirit took us for a loop and I'm loving it. <laughs> Let me kind of reel it back in and see. Um, <laughs> they're saying that you are exactly where you're supposed to be. You are talking about exactly what's meant to be talking about. Okay, let's see if they have any closing messages on playfulness for the beautiful people that are watching this video. Playfulness is a vibe. <laughs> it's a vibe that is easy to tap into because the playful energy always wants to play. It always wants to play and it's always available at your fingertips. It's just you and your choice to tap into that playfulness and to view it. If you need to shake your body real quick or dance or be goofy or, you know, do things that make you laugh, be around people that bring out that playful side, do as much as you can to continue tapping into this playfulness and to your inner child. Your inner child is directly connected to your higher mind and it knows best. So you can always ask too. Hey, inner child, what's one thing we can do today that helps us tap into the energy of you, of playfulness? And trust what comes forward. For me, a lot of the times it's like, hey, we're going to dance. Or hey, we're going to put on some tunes and we are going to sing, okay? Or we're going to like go and run on some grass barefoot because the best feeling ever. You know, do whatever you need to do to tap into that playfulness. It's there for you and it will help you see the world as this beautiful, creative quantum field that it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and go ahead and subscribe for more content like this. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.